right, so here's our meal prep. We have prepped. It's salmon and it's rice cauliflower. It looks like mash. mash. Oh, well, it's cauliflower mash. do our meal prepping. Mia, Shania, and Erin will be doing a challenge. Um, whoever the winner is between the challenge that they're in will win $25,000 and then four people will win $5,000. So they are in a challenge right now, guys. So I have, if you guys know, um, I have lost maybe like 25 pounds. Um, and it comes from, um, I have been eating healthy. Um, I haven't been drinking any Tito's. I have cut the Tito's out. Um, no sweets, really no bread or anything like that. So I'm eating healthy. I'm taking my vitamins. Um, Erin, Erin is well right now. She's on her um, weight loss journey. Um, she's been exercising. Um, this is why we're actually meal prepping and everything. Um, also, you know, I hear a lot of people um on social media when i post my daughter which i don't care because she's beautiful inside out no matter what size she is but the thing is you know um people are mean kids adults they suck you know what i'm saying don't have any training or whatever but yeah she's on her um weight loss journey with us um so all of us is eating healthy along with her to actually lose weight and then you know People can be harsh and say um, mean things to kids when you don't know if that kid has health issues. You don't know what they're battling with mentally, emotionally, none of that. But, you know, as for me, I feel like with her being a child, you know, I have to help her um, and I had to step in. But, yeah, so we are excited about this actual challenge well i am because i want to see who win i have faith in them um it is a lot more people that's actually in the well actually in the challenge as well um but we're gonna see even though even if they don't win the twenty five thousand dollars the thing is they will still actually you know get something out of it which is a healthy lifestyle losing weight etc so you guys come with us um and we're about to actually show you what all we have. Thanks. Hi guys. I'm here if you don't know. Today, well, my mom would like us to show you yeah. us meal prepping today. So we got like a whole bunch of stuff from Sam's. Got all this stuff from Sam's. Um, I bought everything in bulk. So we got some salmon, some chicken, some sirloin some ground turkey uh the sides i have is like brussels sprouts some cauliflower rice i always, I always get cauliflower rice because um it's great for low carb like if you're trying to cut down sugar if you're a diabetic um if you're um, if you have like a high glycemic index or anything like that um it's great to it's a great alternative option for those who are trying to avoid carbs like white rice bread cauliflower you can do so much with cauliflower so I got some cauliflower rice. It's a huge bag. Let me show you. I went to Sam's and I got this big bag of cauliflower rice. So I always use, I always leave it in like the cauliflower rice form, or I mash it. Like it's great. You would never know it's ma it's not mashed potatoes. I promise you. It's like one of the best things that I've made. Um, and then I got this huge bag of broccoli, and I just got these big bags because. I could just go in them, put them back in the freezer, take out what I want to cook, and I don't have to constantly go back to the store and get those two to three dollar bags that's so tiny. And this was five dollars, y'all. These was like these were like four to five dollars for these huge bags. Okay, so I got this stuff from Sam's. Um, this huge pack of chicken breast. This is so big. When I tell you, it's so many chickens in here, and the and the chicken breast they got, it's about like six in here, and it's probably some under those, but they're huge. So I'm probably gonna slice these in threes, 
um, all three of these in threes, and I, I'm going to individually pack them in the freezer. I got some freezer bags and like some sandwich bags. I'm going to go ahead and slice them, measure them out to about six ounces, so that anyone who may want to cook their chicken a certain way besides the way that I'm making it today for like our meal prep, they can just go in there and grab one, and they don't have to unthaw a huge pack of chicken, you know, because it just be a waste. Um, I already... I had already sliced up the salmon. I already skinned it and sliced it. I got about six pieces in here. It's huge, okay? And I think I only paid around like $32, $32. When I tell y'all the salmon was so huge, it was so big, so wide. So each one of these slices, these six slices, is about seven to nine ounces each. I think one of them like 10 ounces. I just tried to cut them as evenly in size as possible, but again weight is different depending on like you know the part of the salmon like you know it gets kind of skinnier and skimpier and thinner at the end towards the tail of it but they're huge okay um i ended up getting this was a sirloin me and i ended up eating one today for breakfast we shared one for breakfast but look this huge pack and guess how much it is it was only 32.51 and these are thick cut sirloins and i got them from sam's if you ever want to um save some money you want to save some money on your groceries and you want to be able to, like, because it's four of us, I was planning on this lasting for about two weeks and only getting, um, eating the sides, only needing to restock the sides, I mean, but my mom, she wanted to join in as well. So this probably lasts us, I mean, well, today is only Tuesday. Um, this probably lasts us because it's me, Naya, sh me, Naya, Aaron, and my mom who's going to be meal prepping. We're really trying to cut down. We're really trying to get fit. So... This probably lasts us about a week, probably a little over a week. You never know, you know, because we got some salad in there. I got these two huge things of salad. Let me show you. So, it's more. I got some huge thing of spring mix. You see this? When you go to Kroger's or Publix, you get those bags. They're the same price as these. I spent $5 on this huge, huge um, container of spinach salad mix. And guess what? These were the same price as what I was, almost the same price as what I would pay if I was to go to the store and get them. So it come with about, how many it came in here? Let me see. 18 up in, up in here. There's 18 of these. Like, who wants to keep going to the store and buying the individual packs? Like, the individual packs be running, like, Greek yogurt be running about six, seven, eight dollars. These, and they're small, they're the cup ones, so they're already measured out for me. It's zero added sugar zero carbs i mean yeah zero zero fat no fat 15 grams of protein i don't have to measure it out it's literally like a steal it's a great steal it's a great deal um and i'm gonna tell y'all how much i spent all right so they've been smashing these strawberries already but look at this look at this it was huge it's, it has so many in here y'all when i tell y'all they've been smashing these they've been smashing them this was filled to the brim and they were huge strawberries so good um get you some apples and some plums they in season right now and I, I i got me some fire plums they were so good guess what y'all 24 packs of eggs they some cage-free eggs i normally get brown and they say pasteurized and free range but we're, we're we're thinking about the price today okay so i end up getting two dozen eggs this one pack Guess how much they was, y'all? I think they're about three or four dollars. Three something to four dollars for a 24 pack of eggs. And we already been eating them. This is quite a bit of us. And I got all of this, like all of this meat, all of this protein, all of these bulk items. Um, what else did I go get? I think that was all I got right now. Um, because like I said, you want to go ahead and eat everything first. Guess how much I spent just on that at Sam's, just at Sam's. I think I ran about one a little over 156 i think about 160 or something like 156 160 i'm cool with that because you want to know why i have all this meat i have all this protein i have all these sides in their bulk items so i don't have to keep running back across to the store you see the size of these meats you see the quantity in them if we would have went to kroger or Publix, walmart you would have got them little packs of meat and would have spent almost three to four hundred dollars on your meals and these are multiple meals who are about to feed four people so imagine if it was just me and i or just me 
I wouldn't have to buy no food for about two weeks, two to three weeks probably, for real, for real. I wouldn't go eat all that by myself. So imagine that. So if you're by yourself and you live alone, go go to you a wholesale store. Go to Costco, go to Sam's, go to Trader Joe's or something and get you bulk items. Go ahead and spend that money because honestly, when you go there every week, <clears throat> think about it. You go in there every week spending about 100 or over every week. If you're living alone, if it's just you and your child, if it's about three of y'all in the house, go get y'all some bulk items. I didn't get no snacks or anything. Um, I'm cutting off the sugar and the snacks, it's just added calories and you still be hungry. So really I'm just trying to get all my protein from the meat, trying to eat as much protein um, during breakfast, during lunch, during dinner. That way I stay full. And then with these different vegetables, you can volume eat. The only thing I didn't go get was some squash and zucchini. I really wanted that, but I was just gonna get that once we ran out of sides. Um, Cause that's like my favorite thing. One of my favorite sides to eat is like zucchini and squash together, saute with some onions. I really love it like that. Um, so right now I'm just about to measure out all our protein. Like I said, I, I started with the salmon already. I think we're just gonna have a steak each, but honestly, I probably just dice them up and just wait, make one big pan and just measure it, see how much it weighs, and just evenly divide it in our meals for us. Um, and then I'm about to, like I said, I'm about to um, divide this chicken up. I'm probably gonna cook some today to, for our meals for the rest of the week, and then the rest of it, I'm gonna freeze it up. I am gonna go have to re-up on some fruits because everybody been eating up the fruits, so we're gonna go get some more fruits. And yeah, so that's what we're doing. Also y'all, don't mind me looking rough. We went to the gym today, me and Aya. We started this fall into fitness challenge. It's gonna be about six weeks. Really trying to get a good routine going, being disciplined. I am in pain, I am hurting, but I am pushing through. <laughs> and I know I look crazy, like I just look like just, I don't know, just messed up. I know y'all see the edges, everything, but that's just how it is, okay? So I've been having like my days off of work and just really trying to get in like to a routine. Um, Cause that's really, really where I be eating not so well when I go to work, <clears throat> especially if I've been, if I didn't bring lunch. So I'm just buying whatever snacks they have, and if I don't like the food that they cook, more than likely I'm just gonna eat some snacks that's unhealthy, high calories, high sugar, and I'm still hungry. So, <laughs> cause it's not feeling, it's not a meal. Like it just be too much. So, yeah, just don't mind me. I sound a little rough. My voice is a little hoarse. Like. But we pushing through. Just focus, focus on the info. That's it. <laughs> so what she's doing now, we are actually going to cut up the chicken. We are weighing the chicken. And also we're gonna cut it up and we're gonna put the chicken in bags and we're gonna cook it as we, day by day. Only the chicken, only because chicken, it actually tastes weird after you cook it and put it in the refrigerator and we just don't like the taste. We kind of like funny like that. But yeah, so what we're doing is we are actually weighing out all the meat. We're gonna wash and season and we're gonna put the chicken up but cook everything else and prep it. So I do about, um, <clears throat> right now I just want everyone to get plenty of protein. All right, so normally I do about six ounces but I really want them to get um, enough protein intake. You're really supposed to eat at least, especially when you're in like a calorie deficit and when you're working out and you're doing high intensity um, training, you want to get as much protein as possible, meaning, so say you have a goal weight of 180, you have a goal weight of 200, um, and even like your current rate, like your current rate is probably, it just depends, but I always measure by my goal weight. So if my goal weight is around 180, 190, right? I want to get at least 180 to 190 grams of protein. Sometimes it's pretty hard, but if you manage um, your meals and you meal prep them, it, it it's pretty easy to reach it. And I'm not taking any supplements, any protein shakes or anything. I just don't feel like it. Like when I go to work, not all the time I have time to um, make a shake. So um, I'm trying to get all my protein just from whole foods, from meats. So the chicken... Some of them, I'm, no, I'm not measuring exactly at six. It's probably like 6.8, um, around seven. So no more than really like seven um, grams of chicken each. So that way they get plenty of protein through each meal. I'm doing breakfast. I wanna do around like some um, some eggs. Eggs are pretty fatty though. That's why a lot of people just eat egg whites, but I'm not wasting no eggs. I'm not about to be taking out the egg whites from the yolk and all of that. We gonna eat the whole egg. We ain't just gonna eat no eggs. 
So um, to get more protein in, I'll eat like eggs. Um, and I just want some protein. I just want a meat that got higher protein. With bacon, you gotta eat quite a bit for you to reach like the protein goal you really want. So probably gonna be eating like some steak and eggs. If I make a omelet, like almond with peppers, onions, some, a little cheese, fat-free cheese, I'll make some shredded chicken or just a chicken breast to eat with it. Like your breakfast doesn't have to be tech technical breakfast food. Just eat some whole foods, you know, get some protein in in every meal from breakfast, lunch and dinner. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm trying to keep it simple. Y'all know I can do up all the recipes and everything. I have so many low calorie recipes from pizza to tacos to chili um, to stews to Chinese food, Italian food, Indian food. I can do all these different um, recipes that I have and that I know and they can still be low calorie and high in protein. However, it just takes too much time. You know, you got to be realistic about the time you have at home. If you have kids, if you have to work, if you have school, meal prep and keep it as simple as possible. If you get bored, that's why you want to have bulk meat. That way, if you get bored, go ahead and like I say, if you make a big batch of turkey, uh, ground turkey, just season it normal. That way, if you want tacos, you can go ahead and add some taco seasoning. And if you want some burgers, you can make some burgers out of that. I got some salmon. It's different ways I can make some salmon. I don't have to just have, you know, like a seared salmon with some herbs. You can have um, a maple rosemary or a honey garlic. As long as you measure in like your, your honey and your maple, your agave, whatever syrup you would like to use, whatever sweetener. You can use fat-free, um, sugar-free is what I meant. Sugar-free barbecue sauce. Bake you some chicken. You can throw your chicken on the grill. You don't always have to cook it on the stove. If you have a, a barbecue grill, Grill that chicken up. That's the only way I really eat some chicken if it's in the fridge, if it's been grilled up. Because it don't taste funny. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the smoke content or something. I don't know. Um, your steak. It's different ways to make your steak. You can make some fried chicken, but instead use the air fryer or use your oven and coat it without flour. Coat it with some breadcrumbs or something like that. It's different ways that you can do it where you don't get tired. Stop just eating chicken and rice or chicken, rice, and broccoli. You have way you have different ways to do it. Like my Brussels sprouts today, I'm gonna roast some Brussels sprouts, maybe with a little onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of maple syrup just to get it a little, you know, it just tastes good when it's roasted. And I'm just gonna season it with like garlic powder, onion powder. Like I told y'all earlier, I got that right uh, cauliflower rice. It can be the rice you can eat for shrimp fried rice. You can eat chicken fried rice with the cauliflower rice. You can eat your salmon, your steak with it. If you want mashed potatoes. Go ahead and get that cauliflower rice. You can put it in a blender or you can have the immersion blender. And I'll just add garlic, add some seasonings, some a little butter. It's A1. You will not be able to tell the difference between it being cauliflower and mashed potatoes. So that's what I'm about to do today. I'm going to go ahead and finish measuring up this meat. And then we'll come back to y'all when we start cooking it up. Because um, I need to go ahead and wash some of these veggies and everything. I like to prep everything first before I start cooking. See y'all shortly. I'm going ahead and <clears throat> I'm about to make our first meal, which is the steak and broccoli. I'm going to make the salmon, the cauliflower mash, and the breakfast sprouts last because I want it to be hot because that's what we want to eat right now. We hungry, y'all. So, oh, I don't know what's going on with me. Oh, so right here is the onion. I'm about to put the steak in. Just want it to be on the Let's see her first. Y'all know I love steak. And we got the uh she cut the steak up in like the cube. Don't mind this bag. I just don't want to drip it on the counter. <clears throat> All right, so we'll be back in a minute. All right, y'all, so this is our salmon. We are actually searing it on one side first. This, that's the skin part right there. But we searing it first, so I'm going to show you when it's done searing. All right, guys, and here is the Brussels sprouts. They're going to get ready to be flipped soon, but... They're in the oven. And we have our rice cauliflower, which actually gonna be mashed up. 
They are actually in a big bag at Sam's Club. And they actually have their own little individual bags in the bag. So right now we're going to put them in the blender. I ain't got no immersion blender to really mash them. So I'm going to put them in this. Just going to get them in that mash texture. I'm putting in some garlic, a little seasoning, and a little butter. Not a lot. And you ain't going to know the difference that it's not potatoes. I'm going to show y'all how it look when she's finished blending it. All right, y'all. So y'all see it is nice and seared. And now she about to put the thyme in there. And some, um, you putting the, uh, no, I'm just putting rosemary. I'm not Rose, putting sugar and stuff. Yeah, I'm talking about you putting rosemary in time. Right? Yeah, a little butter. Yeah. I ain't doing that sauce because it's probably better. We normally had a maple maple glaze sauce that she put on there, but she says high in calories. So y'all know we cannot be eating that, okay? But I want some so bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite, that maple glaze. Uh, I thought she was making it. Oh well. All right, so she put some heavy whipping cream in the uh, rice cauliflower, and we're about to get ready to blend it. We eat tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's a good prayer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Call it back. What's that, minced garlic? Yeah. And that's some minced garlic. Blend it up a little bit first. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think it's because I'm sore. And I'm just trying to move. Y'all, they've been working out. And I haven't. I might take me a walk. But I ain't doing all that. My knee's back. <laughs> <laughs> they they try to get this 25k okay now she's adding some salt garlic powder don't need much because we already added garlic in there. A little onion powder. Uh, I'm probably going to add just a little bit of butter. A little pepper. Don't need much. And a little butter. All right, so here's our meal prep. We have prepped. It's salmon and it's rice cauliflower. It looks like ma mash. Oh, well, it's cauliflower mash. All right, guys, so here's our meal prep. We have salmon, Brussels sprouts, and mashed cauliflower. It looks like mashed potatoes, don't it? And it tastes good as well. And then we have here our steak and broccoli with onions. So yeah, and then in the refrigerator, like we said, we gonna cook our chicken day by day because we do not like chicken out of the refrigerator. That's what we'll be doing. All right guys, so that was the end of my video. You guys put down in the comments whether you meal prep or if you guys would like to try um, the different meals that we have made. Also, let me know what meal prep suggestions you guys have <laughs> for us to make all right so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe also make sure y'all turn on the notifications so every time i post you will get notified all right i'll see y'all in a minute <laughs>